In this lecture, we are going to learn how to install Homebrew and then also how to install MongoDB on Mac. Before we jump into this video, go to training.mammothinteractive.com. Here you can sign up for the Mammoth Unlimited membership and get access to all of the courses we've ever created. That's over 2,000 hours of content. So join me here on brew.sh. This is the site for homebrew. After we learn how to install on Mac, in the next lecture we'll talk about Windows. So here homebrew, the missing package manager for Mac or Linux. To install homebrew, just copy this terminal command right here on the homebrew homepage. You can click that clipboard icon to copy this command to your clipboard. Then let's go to the terminal on our computer. Here I am in the terminal and I'm going to just paste in that command from the homebrew page. So here we're specifying how we are going to be installing homebrew. We're using bash and then we have the link to the script for installing homebrew. You can press enter and you'll be prompted to request your or enter in your password. This is your administrator password for your computer. Next, you'll be prompted to either hit return to continue or any other key to quit. So hit enter or return on your keyboard. Return is just the enter key. Okay, there we go. And that is going to install Homebrew. Once you have installed Homebrew, then you can go ahead and install MongoDB. Make sure you read your messages here to make sure that you are able to install Homebrew. You can also run here to grab the unshallow clone of Homebrew if you'd like. Unless you would like the shallow clone. So in this case, we're using a shallow clone, which will work. It's a smaller version. You can then check your version of Homebrew with the brew command here. All right, so here, if you type in brew, you'll get some prompts for available brew commands like brew update, brew upgrade, brew uninstall, brew doctor for troubleshooting are commonly used ones. You can do brew dash V to grab which version of homebrew you're currently using. All right, next up, we are going to find the MongoDB tap on homebrew. So we'll use brew tap MongoDB slash brew and we'll hit enter. Okay, next step, we're going to install MongoDB. So we're going to use brew install followed by MongoDB dash community. So we're grabbing the community server edition, hit enter, and that will install the MongoDB server to your computer. So just give it a moment there to complete. Next up, we are going to create a database folder for our computer. As soon as this is completed, we can do that. So right now, Brew is installing some dependencies for my MongoDB community version, getting it ready for my version of Mac. Awesome, and we have been able to get MongoDB community. To have launched Start MongoDB, now in Restart at Login, you can use Brew Services Start MongoDB Brew MongoDB Community. Or if you don't want or need a background service, you can just run MongoD-Config. So it's good to read the messages that come up here in your terminal. All right, next up, we are going to create a database folder on our computer. And for Mac OS Catalina and onward, we're going to use sudo mk directory. So sudo means we're accessing our admin and we're going to be using make directory to create a new folder. This will be a private folder and we're going to put it in the location system volumes slash data slash data again and then slash db. So here, this is required for Mac OS because Apple created a new volume in Catalina for security. And so we have to put our database into system volumes data. 
You can then hit enter and you'll be prompted to put in your password. And there we go. We've created our database folder inside of that path. We then have to get permissions or give permissions to be able to use the database. So we'll use sudo chown dash r. Here we're then going to use backticks, which are next to your one on your keyboard, id dash un, followed by slash system slash volume slash data slash data slash database db. So we're giving permissions to use the folder. Great. If you don't get any error messages, it means you've been able to successfully create the commands. Next up, we can launch our Mongo db. So I'm going to use sudo to access our admin. Then I'm going to use mongod. Following that, I'm using the property database path to use my database path at slash system slash volume slash data slash data slash db. So my path to my database is this exact path on my computer. Then I'm going to hit enter and that is going to start my Mongo db. All right, now we can put to use our Mongo db. We can use the Mongo keyword in another terminal and we can use Mongo db commands. If you want to build an alias for your command, this long command, first let's just hit control C to cancel the Mongo db. And here you can see this command is quite long, this sudo mongo d, okay, because you have to pass in this database path. So if you want to create an alias here for this command, then what we can do is we can copy this command. And here I'm going to then use my alias mongo d, which means I can just use mongo d as the key for this entire command. All I have to do is use an equal sign followed by here quotation marks. Into the quotation marks I'm going to paste in here my command that I just used and also sometimes it doesn't work so let me just recreate this alias. I'll exit out of that and go to alias mongod. My copy paste didn't really work so I'll just do it from scratch. We're using sudo mongod dash dash database path is at system slash volumes slash data slash data slash db. We can hit enter and now if we use mongod, this is just a shortcut. So now we have a shortcut for being able to launch mongodb. Thanks for watching and don't forget to go to training.mammothinteractive.com. Here you can sign up for the Mammoth Unlimited Membership where you can get access to over 350 courses that we've created.